On this episode of Test Dummy Science, we're studying the laws of impact. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there gonna be a test on this? There's nobody told me anything about studying. No, Eddie. You don't need to study this. Today's experiment is all about why rubber balls bounce while water balloons explode. Oh, okay. Oh, where's the target? Because uh, I could totally ace this test. Do -do 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 -do. We're using none other than our trusty assistant, Teddy the Test Dummy, also known as the human target. Hey, watch the money maker! You guys are lucky I got a hard head. Sir Isaac Newton mm. was a scientist born in the 1600s and was the first person to understand that gravity is pushing down on us when an apple oh. fell off of a tree and hit him in the head. Instead of just eating the apple or wearing a helmet after that, Newton used it as an inspiration to start thinking about the motion of objects all around him. When the apple fell on Newton's head, it was filled with kinetic energy, or the energy that comes from motion. Then, when it hit his head, the energy transferred into his skull and back into the apple. That energy then made the apple bounce off of his head and onto the ground. And although an apple can bounce, a rubber ball bounces much more. Well, a water balloon, which is also made of rubber, just breaks. The question is, why? Yeah, I'd also like to ask why. Why am I doing this again? To understand why some rubber breaks and some rubber bounces, we piled up a whole bunch of balls and even more water balloons. We'll throw balls at Teddy to watch how they bounce. And water balloons to see how they break. Wait, so I'm just gonna like stand here while you guys pummel me with balls and balloons? Not quite, Teddy. We've turned this into a bit of a game. For every balloon or ball that hits your body, we get 10 points. And if we hit you in the head, we get 50 points. And for every ball or balloon that you catch, you get 50 points. And whoever gets the lowest score in the end gets a water balloon dropped on their head. So this is all in the name of science, right? Yeah, plus it's super fun. Bring on the balls! Jada, are you ready? Oh yeah, I can't wait for this. How about you, big guy? You ready, Teddy? Bring it on! When the rubber balls hit Teddy, their kinetic energy is absorbed by his face and body. The rubber is thick enough and has enough elasticity that when the energy transfers back to the ball, it springs off of him and goes back to its original shape. Stop there's so many balls! Touch it! Missed! Ah! 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 That was fun. Now let's see how the water balloons react in the same situation. They do nothing! Ah! Oh, my cell phone is in here! The rubber in the water balloons is much thinner and the water inside is way heavier than the air inside the rubber balls. When the balloon hits, the kinetic energy is too much for the thin rubber. So the same potential energy that made the rubber balls bounce off Teddy's face caused the water balloons to explode. I got it! It's clear not all rubber was created equally. After tallying up the results, the loser is... Teddy! Of course. As punishment, we've got this giant water balloon ready for you. Hey, watch out, kids. That, that doesn't look stable. 